Alright, so I keep seeing these articles popping up about DDR6 RAM supposedly launching in late 2025 or early 2026 and I gotta be honest with you. This is some premium grade bull and I don't mean that as a dunk on the people writing these articles. I mean, the entire narrative around DDR6 right now is completely detached from reality. Bruh. So let me break down what's actually happening. Why DDR6 isn't coming for your PC anytime soon and why even if it did, you should absolutely not care. Let's be honest, DDR6 is basically vaporware for consumers right now. Yeah. GEDEC, that's the standards body that decides how RAM works. You're supposed to finalize the DDR6 specification sometime in 2025. The draft spec might be even done by now. But here's what people keep forgetting. A specification is not a product. It's more of a blueprint. And they actually went through the manufacturer's roadmaps and this is what it basically says. SK Hynix, one of the three companies that makes 95% of all DRAMs on Earth, straight up said DDR6 won't hit the market until 2029 or 2030. So not 2026 or even 2027. 2029 at the earliest. Trendforce, which is one of the most reliable memory market analysts, says 2027 for servers and maybe 2028 to 2029 for consumer PCs. So when you see an article saying DDR6 is coming in 2026, that's probably referring to some maybe engineering samples in a lab somewhere or possibly server grade modules that cost more than your car. Or maybe, you know, they didn't bother to do some research. But let's pretend for a second that DDR6 somehow did launch for consumers in 2026 or 2027. You know what would be that like? That would be like trying to sell a luxury sports car in the middle of a gasoline shortage where gas costs like a kajillion a gallon. It's a product nobody can afford arriving at the worst time possible. Because here's what's actually happening right now with DDR5. And by this point, everyone probably already know or at least heard about the RAM situation. So what the hell happened? Well, to put in summary, it's because of AI. Specifically AI data centers that are basically in the entire DRAM supply chain. OpenAI's Stargate project alone signed deals with Samsung and SK Hynix for up to 900,000 wafers of DRAM per month. To put that in perspective, that's about 40% of the global DRAM output just for one project. One single f***ing project. And that doesn't even count Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, Meta, which are building massive ass AI server farms that use specialized high bandwidth memory. And guess what? Those memories came from the same factories that makes the RAM for your PC. The memory manufacturers looked at the situation and made a very rational business decision. Why would they sell bit by bit to consumers when a massive ass f***ing company making big ass data centers would buy a ton from them? The result? Some manufacturers stopped producing consumer products and focused producing for AI companies instead. And some retailers have literally removed the price tag from RAM and moved to spot pricing, treating memory like it's a volatile commodity. Framework Laptop raised their DDR5 upgrade prices by up to 50% and warned customers that further increases are highly likely. Mercury Center reportedly stopped listing prices on memory kits in some locations. This is unprecedented in consumer electronics. Now, let's do actual math on what DDR6 would cost if it launched into this environment. DDR5 launched in 2021 at about 70 to 80 price premium over DDR4. That was normal. New memory generations always cost more at launch. But DDR5 launched into a relatively stable market where manufacturers had production capacity to spare. DDR6 would be launching into a market where factories are already at max capacity, where manufacturers are prioritizing the most profitable products and where demand from AI is not slowing down, where it's actually accelerating. Industry analysts are saying this shortage could last until 2027 or even 2028 when new fabs are complete. So if you use conservative estimates and assume DDR6 launches with a similar 70 to 80 premium over DDR5 and keep in mind that DDR5 itself is already 3 to 4 times more expensive than it was early 2025, you're looking at a 32 gig DDR6 kit costing somewhere between 650 and 850 at launch. And that's if the company selling it wouldn't count the fact that we currently have shortages and AI companies demanding most of the DRAM supply. So we're currently looking at about $900, maybe. And for reference, that's more expensive than a mid-range GPU. 
that's more than the price of a PS5 but only for a 32 gig RAM kit. And that's assuming manufacturers would even bother making consumer DDR6 at all at this point. SK Hynix roadmap shows that they're not even planning for it. Samsung might do limited runs for flagship laptops and extreme enthusiast desktop builds or maybe just to see how it works, but mass market DDR6? There's no business case for it when they can sell every HBM chip they can make for 10 times the profit margin. And even if DDR6 was available at around an affordable price, would you actually even need it? Like, let's be for real for a second. DDR6 is projected to start at around 8,800 mega transfers per second and scale up to 12,800 mega transfers with overclocked modules, potentially hitting even 17,000 mega transfers per second. That's roughly double DDR5 speed, and it really sounds impressive, right? But for gaming, for regular work, the performance difference between DDR4 and DDR5 is already marginal in the most real-world scenarios. We're talking about 5 to 10 FPS in games that are CPU bound and are basically nothing in GPU bound titles. The leap from DDR5 to DDR6 will follow the same pattern, huge on paper but barely noticeable in practice. Well, unless you're running extremely specific professional workloads like scientific simulations or massive database operations. The ones who'll actually need DDR6 are those data centers, AI researchers, and maybe some high-frequency trading firms. Not you, not me, and not the guy building PCs to play Elden Ring at 1440p. Heck, I'm still using DDR4 right now and I don't even want to upgrade to newer DDR5 because I don't see why should I? Bruh. And look, I spent me some decent minutes looking at manufacturer roadmaps, pricing data, and analyst reports to make sure everything I just told you is accurate. Because I'm so cool and also there's a lot of misleading information out there about DDR6 right now. So if you find this useful and you want to support the channel, you should think about hitting that subscribe button because it would be genuinely helpful. It's free, it takes a second, and YouTube might actually show my videos to more people when they subscribe, which is cool. So, yeah, please. Anyway, so just chill out. Seriously, your current DDR4 RAM is fine. DDR4 systems from 2020 are still crushing modern games till this day. This isn't a crisis for you. This is for a crisis for people who chase clout, flexing their overkill gaming rig, or people who wants to future-proof their PCs or something. Or maybe those people who does activity work, like making 4K 3D corn videos. Also, if you want to know more about why you should just relax and why you shouldn't worry about the PC market possibly being in a total collapse, then click here. Anyways, that's all about it. Bye.